Hi there. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at how you can use the Connections plugin for a staff directory on your website. And specifically, we're going to be drilling down into how you can add new entries to that staff directory. Now, you might want to use a directory plugin like this if, like my client Katal, you have a lot of staff members and uh, individuals from the public are contacting them frequently and you want to make that sort of experience of finding their contact information quick and easy for the users. So what this will give you is, you know, with the aid of this connections plugin, you can get an awesome searchable directory like this that people can go through according to category or they can search for name or kind of toggle from um, last name to last name in the directory. Pretty neat. So that'll, that's what it'll do for you. So let's look at how you can add new entries to it. Okay, cool. So we're in the dashboard. We're going to go down to connections. And from here, we're going to select add entry. Now entry is kind of a generic term for really whatever type of data you're using in this directory. In this case, again, we're using this for people. So you're gonna find people's information in here. You might actually choose to use this for organizations or you know, really anything else um, that you want on your website. Uh, so just keep an open mind. You can do a lot of different things with this. So for this example, I'm just gonna grab a random person from the site that has not been added to this yet. So we're gonna add Rosanna who is an elementary school teacher. So copy her information over here, Rosanna. And then in this case, the fields that we're using in here, um, we're not using all of them. Um, so I, you'll notice that I don't fill everything out. Um, we are using title, so I'm gonna select an elementary school teacher because that is what Rosanna is doing at Catal. And um, this information, I'm going to leave it as individual, um, but I am going to click this over to public. What that is going to do is actually mean that once I hit this add entry button here, um, Rosanna will show up on the user facing side of the website. So that's what that means. Um, if you had it set to private or unlisted private, um, only people who were logged in would be able to see it. Unlisted, um, basically that would mean that Rosanna's information would be in the system, but really nobody could see it unless they were logged in as an administrator. So it's kind of like, you know, the draft mode in WordPress. Um, so nice to know that you have that option in case you wanted to use it. Um, now at this point, if we had a picture of Rosanna, we would use that feature, this little choose file, option to upload an image. Um, we don't have an image for Rosanna, so we're not gonna worry about that, but just know that that feature does exist within this directory, which is pretty neat. And then over here, uh, we have created some custom categories for this directory. And um, Rosanna, again, is an elementary school teacher, so I'm gonna select that. She also belongs to the broader category of teachers in general. So I'm also going to select that. So that's another one of the cool features here is that you can have sort of nesting categories and apply multiple categories to people if they're you know members of several groups. So that's kind of nice. Um, now, if we had a phone number for Rosanna, we would add that here. Obviously, we would select work phone. Um, we don't for her, so we're not gonna worry about that for now. Email address, same thing. We would, you know, select this work email, put her email address here, and then uh, that would be saved in there. Um, you would not have to hit this add email address. Please be aware of that. If you do that, um, the system's actually going to think that you want to add multiple email addresses. So don't feel the need to click that after you've entered your information. Just FYI on that. And then this plugin has some other great features like the ability to, you know, link to people's social media sites. And then down here, um, also to have biographical information, uh, which we definitely do have for Rosanna. So we're going to add that to the website. So I'm going to go here, I'm going to copy Rosanna's information. And, um, you know, as with anything in WordPress, you want to make sure that you avoid pasting directly into um, any content area. If you paste directly into that content area, you do um, risk actually getting in malicious code into that box. HTML, um, the sort of 
you know, fudged HTML, that word Microsoft Word uses if you're pasting from a Word document. So you definitely want to clean your copy. Always clean your copy. The way you do that is you can either select the paste as plain text button here or the paste from Word button here. Now in this case, I'm not particularly interested in um, preserving any of the formatting for this copy that I'm pasting in here. So I'm just gonna do the plain text one. That's kind of the nuclear option. And if you ever wanna make sure that you get clean copy, that's the best thing to do. So I have pasted that in there. I'm gonna click insert and Rosanna's information is now in the bio area. So great, that's looking how I want it. At this point, you know, if I wanted to, I could um, add links or other formatting. Uh, we don't really want that um, in this directory, so I'm not gonna bother with it. Um, this note fields uh, we're not actually using, so I'm just gonna, just gonna ignore that. So I've got the information in here that I want. So I'm gonna go up here, I'm gonna select add entry. And again, since this is set to public, that means it's gonna be added to the user facing side of the website right away. So let's go take a look at what that looks like. So I've got my staff director here and I'm gonna hit refresh. And if I type in Rosanna's name now in the search box, uh, we're gonna see that Rosanna comes up, which is awesome. And we're also gonna see if we you know, click the G, she's gonna show up there, super cool. And then if we also select either teacher or elementary school teacher, Rosanna again is gonna show up as well. So really pretty cool. Again, um, this was all done using the connections plugin for WordPress and we paid for the excerpt pro theme to create you know, this visual interface that you're looking at and add neato cool features like this search bar here. So definitely a nifty little feature and something worth investing in if you're looking for this kind of solution. All right, thanks.